Hi guys, I'm Ninja101 here and I'm here for another Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG News episode. So this episode is episode 8 and get started. Uh, so yeah, first off, the news is our, this is a very important news. Is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 2, the Dual Academy years. So it will be released on October 4th, 2011 which is like a year like a year from it was like a year ago when the first legend for Le legendary collection was released so so this paragraph is from Konami's source in the quote this, this sequel to 2010's legendary collection is the biggest value in Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG history each box contains a mix of fixed and random content totaling 58 cards including 28 foil cards each box comes with 13 OT 13 ultra promo cards that are same in every box plus five new nine card mega packs pulling from a specially made 266 card mega set that collects the top cards from the Eagle GX era 2005 to 2008 each mega pack has one secret rare one ultra rare one super rare one rare and five commons per pack that's that's 58 total cards including 28 guaranteed foils and all pack GX themed binder enclosed this 30 cardboard slip case for extra security oh so that's what it is but yeah so this is a legendary collection 2 the front view of the binder with Aster Phoenix Jesse Anderson Jaden Yuki Kat Chaz Princeton and Lane Truesdale and in the front you can see it has the three uh, I think it was the the three mis mis I forgot what they're called, but yeah, but the three like GX counterparts of the Egyptian guy cards. Uh, there's Yuria, Hamel, and uh, something. <laughs> For I no offense, but I just forgot the names. So it just says you get Legendary Collection two, the Dual Academy years. The only problem I have with this, I mean, I like it in all, but. I just hate the fact that right here, as you can see, there's the U new Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeo logo. I mean, if it's going to be GX themed, they might as well at least put the original logo, which was on like all the packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and all the things of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Except for that, I'm okay. I really do like this product. So yeah, it contains, and I quote from Konami and Yu-Gi-Oh! Card.com, 5 secret rares, 18 ultra rares, 5 super rares, 5 rares, 25 commons, in each box, all packed in a three-wing display binder, so that's pretty nice. And the Mega Pack info, which is also a source from Konami slash YuGiOcard.com, is the Mega Packs are a brand new kind of pack, unlike anything you've seen before. Each Mega Pack has at least one card of very rarity from its set, which is something new. Yeah. That means that every Legendary Collection two Mega Pack has one secret rare. And one ultra rare, and one super rare, and one rare. A uh, plus five commons in every pack, and you get five of these packs in every legendary collection too. The, the nine cards in each pack are from a unique 266 card mega set created specifically for legendary collection two. This mega set includes the greatest cards from the GX era, including elemental heroes, destiny heroes, evil heroes, neo spatians, crystal beasts, and Cyber Dragons, plus the top GX tournament cards including Gladiator, Beast, Lightstorm, Six Samurai, and more. Highlights from the set include almost every single hero card all in one place. Elemental Hero, Destiny Hero, and Evil Hero. A great match for the Mass and Vision Hero Monsters in Generation Force. Easy to get common versions of some of the most cup popular cards ever including Thunder King Ryo, Judgment Dragon Gateway of the Six, Elemental Hero Stratos, Zuki, and the Survival. So Shining Foil versions of popular cards to jazz up your deck including Instant Fusion, Future Fusion Hydro Ganon, Macro Cosmos, Dimensional Present, and DD Crow. All included as either ultra rares or super rares. But, but yeah. Secret Rare versions of Necro Garden, Super Harmonization, Destiny Draw, Phantom, Chao Phantom of Chaos, Dimensional Fission, and Banisher of Radiance, and many more. But 
The full versions of the most popular gladiator beasts, including Bessitari, Darius, Request, Heraclinos, Pope Lamas, Lanquari, Mermillo, and Sector, plus Test Tiger and Gladiator Beast War Chariot. Brand new gla Gladiator Beast Monster, Gladiator Beast Lanista. Full versions of top and light storm monsters like Jane, Lumna, and Arcus. Five variant art cards, Elemental Heroes, Avian Bercentrix, and Sparkman Plus. Cyber Dragon and Cyber End Dragon, which is good. She has this Darkened Dragon and Lightning Dragon, good too. Vignomina, the deity of poison snakes, good thing. Dark Lord Desire, team up with the other three Dark Lords. All six rid of six samurai plus grandmaster six samurai and great shogun Sheehan. Galius, the star beast and darkness story released from North America for the first time ever. All cards are printed with updated tests, text. So they're easier to understand. The card list is Yuria, uh, Hamlin, and Revio. So those are the three card names. Uh, Dark Lord Asmodus, Dark Lord Superbaya, Dark Lord Ede, uh, Area, Cyber Larva, Lion Alligator, Spawn Alligator, Elemental Hero, Great Tornado, Parallel World Fusion, Dragonic, Dragonic, Tactics and Court of Justice. So, so yeah, that's all there is for a legendary collection too. Yeah. So secondly, uh, I want to talk about a Yu-Gi-Oh 2011 Collector Tens Wave Two. Uh, it will be released on November 1st. Each ten will contain two copies of Storm and Ragnarok, two copies of Extreme Victory, one gen one copy of Generation Force, one Secret Rare, and four Super Rares. So. And lastly, I just want to talk about the Shun Jump promo shooting Quasar Dragon. I'm um, not much is known about it. It's probably gonna be released like in the November issue, cause uh, every time they release a card, well, at least that I've known, is they usually gonna put it like two months, like not one every month. Next month is probably not gonna be. Probably gonna at least. I mean, the one after September is probably the October issue is probably. It's either going to be like a Naruto or Dragon Ball Z or some other card or no card at all. So it's going to be ultra rare. And yeah, it's finally coming to Xiong Jump, which, I mean, the United States is pretty cool. So yeah, that's really it for this news episode. Except for like those three topics, there's nothing really new to talk about. And yeah, uh, my birthday is such 200 subscriber special. Opening is going to come in a few days, like I said in the vi previous video. And yeah, don't forget to vote on these polls. Uh, there's only like, as of now, there's eight. By the time this is going to be up, it's probably going to be seven or six. But yeah, that's really all for this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel to see my more of my videos, good pack polls, and be the first to see my 200 subscribers slash birthday openings. And yeah, that's really it, and see you guys later, and bye.